Young people in the Buxton Friendship Community received skills training through the cooperative movement. Residents of Buxton Friendship on the east coast of Demerara are continuing to invest in the education of their young people. Secretary of the New Buxton Multipurpose Cooperative Society, Omedini Peters, said four students from the Buxton Friendship Community were sponsored by his society to pursue cosmetology studies at the Carnegie School of Home Economics. Those selected are part of a larger grouping preparing for CSEC examinations at the Kurukuru Cooperative College. So we had courses locally and overseas. Mostly with the local courses, we're embarking on a location where we could get these children employed. Right? So we can get a, a, a place and they come and then we find like customers, they pay them a sniping on a monthly basis. And, and so forth. The young ladies who are all eager to put their training into use said they're grateful for the opportunity that will see them being able to develop their lives. Really challenging at first but then I got into it and I felt comfortable and also I can do my own nails when I want to go to any sort of event that is coming up. Yes we'll start practicing on friends and family well, basically, the people around me at home and so forth, and my colleagues in class. I'm hoping that I can finish out the whole course of Carnegie because all we did was the accredit on the nails and nail designing and so on. So that, that is not the full pack in cosmetology. And I'm hoping that I can do all of that in the next run. Yes, I would like to explore other areas, but this is something that I like to do. And what you like to do is what you should continue doing, along with other things. So I would move ahead too. All the girls said their long-term goal is to be able to start their own businesses in the community. He explained that the current crop of students are members of the Buxton Friendship Youth Development Cooperative. Additionally, he said based on his analysis, it is the women who have thrown their full support behind the program. Um, um, you see... What I found out this with, with myself, right, that mostly the women now would, would come out and support us in these kind of events, right? Mostly the males, them, they're kind of little ticklish. They always want to get involved in other stuff. They don't see things unless they actually see this thing moving forward, right? And then they would say, man, I want to come and join the board ship. According to him, while groundwork is done, the society will have to embark on a house-to-house -house exercise targeting males in the community. We I think we can gotta go on a drive where we visit the homes and speak to some of the parents so you could encourage the males them to come because the males them are always hustling, they want a little daddy, they want to be a mini bus conductor, they might be forgetting that education is key to success. So there's an area we have to work on some more.